Hi, I'm Shauna Coxie. I'm Leah Crane, and this is 15 Questions with Shauna Coxie. Question number one. Tell us three things you did when you aren't... I'll do that again. You ready? Tell us three <laughs> things you do when you aren't climbing or training. Three things I do when I'm not climbing or training would be walking my dog, baking, or sleeping, pretty much. You're pretty good at sleeping. I'm really good at sleeping. Hmm. Like, maybe better than anything else. Hmm. <laughs> Question number two. What are your strengths and weaknesses in climbing? What are my strengths and weaknesses in climbing? Uh, that's a good question. I think one of my strengths is getting injured. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just need to do that quite a lot. Um, I think when, maybe one of my strengths is coming back from injury. I always try and come back stronger and work really hard. And I'm always trying to make gains and get better. My weaknesses, well, I try really hard not to have any, but of course, like anyone, I do. Um, but I don't know what they are. I think I try not to think about them, maybe. I think maybe ask my coaches. That'd be the best bet. <laughs> okay, question number three. What song do you put on when you need to get psyched for training? Ooh, what song do I put on? I think it would be a playlist and not a song and it'd be 90s cheesy classics, something to sing along to and dance around to and just be really silly with. Hmm. Um, number four. <laughs> do you not agree? No, I, 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 it's the same one for me. So that's why I was like, come. Give us a brief overview of what a training day looks like. Is it all climbing or do you mix it up with cross training? So for me, uh, my training days differ throughout the week, but on a busy training day, I can be in the gym in the morning, so doing some weight space stuff, some mobility stuff, a lot of kind of conditioning work, and then I do a lot of climbing obviously as well and I spend a lot of time on a beast maker so it's finger strength work. Um, yeah so I kind of mix it up as much as I can but all of it is planned out by my coaches and then I kind of have my say about what goes but usually no one listens to me and I just do what I'm told. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> I try. <laughs> uh, question number five. Oh you know all about this. Um, <laughs> what's the best single exercise to increase finger strength? Fingerboarding, specifically Beastmaker fingerboarding. I genuinely believe they're the best. That's not a plug. That sounded so forced. <laughs> it wasn't. That was supposed to be genuine, but. Ah. Do you try that again? What's the best way to get yeah, you ready? stronger fingers? Stronger. Question number five Best single exercise to increase finger strength? Beastmaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, we'll just leave it there. So, fingerboarding on a beast maker. Yeah, I reckon. I think if you want to get stronger fingers, it's really specific to you though. So, I mean, don't just jump straight on a beast maker, but you really have to work your fingers to get stronger fingers. So yeah, it's all relative to how strong they are currently. I mean, I'm not asking you all to go and hang with 50 kilos on the smallest thing you can find, but I mean, if you could do that, you'd have pretty strong fingers. Um, if you could spend the day climbing with someone from a different climbing discipline, who would it be? For example, making an alpine ascent with Comrade Anchor, or someone else? Ooh. Who would it be? That's a really hard question. I've never really considered it. I don't really feel like I have much time to go and do any of those types of climbing. But, but if you did, who would uh, be cool? Catherine Destabelle. I knew you were going to say that. She can take me. <laughs> up some hardcore Maui, Maui, Maui pitch? What's a Maui pitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything but boulder, I'm just kidding, I totally do. Um, I think it'd be really cool to have a big day out in the mountains with Catherine. If, probably not even climbing, but like walking and getting out in the snow and doing something cool. I feel like she's the most hardcore person I can think of. She's pretty badass. She's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> have you ever encountered anything in your climbing or training that you were reluctant or scared to try? <laughs> um, I think the answer would be yes. I think there's all, I have like days where I'm not feeling as confident and not as kind of active and out there. Um, I think climbing especially, you know, there's some like big scary moves or jumps or wild things at the top of the wall. I, I can get a little bit scared, but it tends not to take me too long to overcome them. In training, I can't think of any can you, I don't know if you can think of any, not you all out there, like Leah behind the camera that is <laughs> where I've been scared, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just feel like fear is something that you can choose to 
overcome often, maybe not all the time, but for me, if I'm scared of something, then that's me making a choice not to push through it. So. Well, generally, I'm yeah. the scared one, and you yeah, always exactly. and, and you always, always tell me just to go and do it anyway. Yeah. So I kind of give you a lot of grief for it. So, and if we yeah. do get scared on a big move in climbing, we just say, what would Eula do? Yeah, Eula Worm. She's always our inspiration for trying hard and not getting scared. <laughs> Hi, Eula. <laughs> I've never told her that, that's funny. <laughs> Number eight, what is your all-time favourite climbing shoe? The Anastasi Pro. Yes, who asked that? High five. <laughs> I'd love to five time around that. Why is it your favourite shoe? Is that part of the question or are you just I'm curious? Just answering. Because Questioning. it's mm -hmm. just really good, it just works. And now that it's got toe rubber on the top, it just completes the shoe. Who's going to win the men's and women's Boulder World Cup overall this year? This year? That's a really good question. Who is going to win? Um, I have no idea who's competing in the overall this year, who's going to do the full season. I'm not, so otherwise it would have been me. Just kidding. That's totally <laughs> not something that I would say <laughs> in real life, like seriously. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Yanya's competing in the full season. I mean... She's an incredible climber, but you know, Miho and Akio, there's, yeah, there's no stopping Akio. She could easily come back for sure, but then there's so many people coming through. I just can't guess. And in the guys, the competition is so tight. I couldn't possibly say. The Japanese team are crushing, but then you've got loads of other climbers coming through and really making them work for it. So yeah. Let's try and answer it from a team perspective. Which, from a team perspective. For which team Japan, is gonna win the overall? If you're gonna put money on anyone, it's gotta be Japan. What is your most annoying habit? Uh, sleeping. <laughs> Does that count? That's not annoying. No. Uh, I mean, it's pretty annoying when you want to get stuff done, but you just probably get sleep. Um, what about annoying, annoying other habit? people? I don't know. That's surely that's a question for you. You spend more time <laughs> with me than anyone else. Wanting to do stuff all the time, maybe. <laughs> I'm quite an active person. I don't like sitting down. Just dragged Leah outside. We're in Switzerland, it's about to start raining, it's really windy, so we went and did a core session and a mobility session outside on the balcony and a fingerboard session, you know. You're pretty bad at saying no. Uh, mm. uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my most You don't like taking no for an answer. That's different to saying no. Okay, you don't like taking no for an answer. What? Well, if you want a yes. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's not an annoying habit, that's just how I've formed my life. Okay. Did, uh, we, did we answer that one? I don't think we did. I mean, I don't snore, I don't do anything. I don't know if that's an annoying habit. I don't pick my, chew my fingernails. Oh, you're going to say pick my nose. nose. <laughs> don't pick my nose. You know, I don't have anything that I can think of that I've... So you're basically I'm perfect? Really, I'm not perfect, I'm so far from perfect. <laughs> so far. Uh, annoying. I don't know, I, I don't find myself annoying, so that's gotta be... You spit on me quite a lot when we do acro yoga. That's, that is true. That's pretty annoying. But I don't spit on people generally, so that's not an annoying habit that most people would realise I have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. No idea, sorry. Okay. Come hang out with me and then you'll find out. For sure, I'll get annoying pretty quickly. Tell us something we don't know about your training buddy, Leah. Oh, she is really annoying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She doesn't spit on me though, and that's not... Oh, what don't you know? She has... <laughs> I was gonna say something funny. I am the one holding the camera, so... <laughs> I was totally gonna say you had three nipples, but <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> um... Leah is someone who loves to learn new things and gets really good at things really quickly. She makes amazing jewellery. She is now doing on nails for the World Cups, which haven't been done yet. And she just picks things up. She's also really good at like making outfits and just being, like making me look good. So anytime that I've got dressed up, usually it's thanks to Leah. So, yeah. You make me sound like a girl. She's much... <laughs> Typically girlier, much more girlier than I am. Yeah, so that's quite good. Useful for me, anyway. It means I don't have to learn all these things. Makeup, nails. I've got time for that. That's <laughs> why I it's, really, it's really hard to laugh and hold the camera still. <laughs> um, Laughing? Could that be my most annoying habit? 
do a lot of it. My abs tend to hurt. She me. doesn't shut up much. That could be yeah. one. Mm. Until I'm tired. And then you know something. If I'm quiet, something's wrong. Yeah, she said that sleeping was more annoying, but it's actually really good. <laughs> what was the last thing you watched on TV? Uh, what was the last thing I watched on TV? Um, we watched, what was it called? Die Hard last night. Oh, we did. That was kind of embarrassing. No, it wasn't Die Hard. It was Too Fast, Too Furious. Right, and Jason Seven, Statham. Like the <laughs> eighth one or the seventh one? Are there even eight? Yeah, that's the last thing we watched. I mean, I don't watch it religiously. We a, a bad film with Vin Diesel. There yeah. you go. And The Rock. I like The Rock. <laughs> it's cool. Um, <laughs> if you could pick any place to have a World Cup, where would it be? Uh, Seychelles. <laughs> On the beach. <laughs> Just because I'd really like to go there. You know you would moan so much if that happened. Uh, it's too hot, it's too sweaty. <laughs> yeah, but then we'd just go swimming in the sea and everything would be all right again. Um, or Madagascar or somewhere out there and cool that I haven't been yet. I've got a lot of places like that on my list though, so. New Zealand? Ooh. I want to put a World Cup in New Zealand. That'd be a good that'd one. Be fine. That'd be okay. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, okay, number 14. What's your favourite thing to bake? Um, my baking is totally mood dependent. I mean, I love baking chocolate based, like chocolate brownies and that sort of stuff, but I really have to be in the mood for it. I also love baking biscuits, um, like shortbread and carrot cake and all different things, but my go-to bake, something that I think is something that I really wanted to master was the Victoria sponge, classic British cake. So it's just quite a plain sponge with jam and fresh cream in the middle. And if you can master a Victoria sponge cake, I think that's a good status to be in life. So I'm not quite there yet. I'll get there one day. Oh man, that means I don't even have any form of status. Not in baking. <laughs> we know that though. <laughs> okay, I'll just go and cry over here in, my, in the corner. Um, last one. If you had to choose one place to spend the rest of your life, where would it be? Um, for me it's not where I would be but it's who I would be with so if, it's, if I had to choose it it would probably just be in my own house because I really like it there which sounds really sad but I think having somewhere to go home to and people to go home to makes it a lot easier to travel on the circuit and yeah I feel very lucky to have that and we've got a board in the cellar so you know keep training I say we've got a board Ned's got a board it's not mine cool we're done see you later Bye. Sorry. <laughs>